Where are we? Hello, we are waiting in the queue to go into Kennedy Space Center with Melody, Tim, and Stephanie. See all the wrong It's going to be a great day. Oops. Maybe we can play with Rockets. Rocket Garden must be where we are. This is the Rocket Garden. They planted seeds. You can look at it wherever you want because this is going to take all day, which is fine, but I don't want you to miss out on anything. Yeah? Same time with a one not much more than a reinforced weather balloon with a reflective surface. We sent it up into orbit, the panel and the chip, put them in a capsule, and before they left the atmosphere, they got to that point on the way out where they were experiencing seven times force gravity. And that's when we started flying. Our theory was that if the chip hit his arm up and hit the right button, maybe we could train astronauts to do it too. Hello, where are you? Kennedy Space Center. And what are you looking at now? A rocket. It's rather big, do you think? Gift shop? Oh, there they are. Watch, you'll be all annoyed with us because we, we walked off. <laughs> This is the space shuttle 
shuttle. This is the space shuttle Atlantis at Kennedy Space Center. This is the underside of it. Other, we could have up to four astronauts on the flight deck, including obviously the pilot and, uh, and uh, co-pilot, and then the game commander, and then other astronauts. We could have up to eight people on. Uh, taking photos of Space Shuttle Atlantis. I'd be a bit pissed off if we didn't come in here. Well, sometimes you don't know these things are here until you leave. <laughs> says on there, this will die. <laughs> Jeez. I'm Come not on. that bad, surely. Yeah. Look at me, look out that way. All right. Look, there's a lady I'm not too sure if the car insurance covers Whitmash. Just look at that lady waving a sign on for vaping and smoking. Oh, yeah, that's you, saw that. Yeah, there's a thing. I, I wasn't going to do it, but then I saw someone waving a sign, so I thought, oh, I better do it. There's long traffic lights here, so you can hold that thing down. This is Route 516 Palm Bay Road. Heading west. Heading west. We are going to Tijuana Flats. Not Tortilla Flats, as I can't call it. Be careful of the pepper sauce and that sauce. When I say it, we're having that. You got a picture of the guy's eyes closed and frowning. As long as you 
long as Alan's taking his diarrhea medicine, he should be all set. <laughs> he can't handle hot things. Don't get me wrong, he loves hot sauce. Mild sauce, my ass, with really English. We are not coming. <laughs> he, he loves hot sauce, and hot sauce does not like him. It's like when he goes for curry, he go, he'll get him a dress or a vindaloo, which are the hottest ones. And he ends up regretting it. Well, this one has everything from very mild and sweet to one that has a little face. It's a face. Yeah, because it's so hot. That's the one. You will, too. Good one. Do they give you much salsa? Should you ask for extra no, salsa? Get your own. It's, it's, there's a, there's a little bar. Yeah. Well, I know it's sauces, but they also sauce salsa. Um, I don't know. Salsa. So we usually have. Uh, oh, well, when you get your when you get your chips, you mean? Yes. They put it in little plastic cups. That's what I mean. If they don't give you much, I'll, I'll want to order. And it. they also do. You can also get a, a queso, cheese sauce in a cup. Yeah, the Ooh. Let's see. Jeannie's gonna get nachos. She doesn't want. It is, yeah, I like that. And the burrito's kind gonna of. come with chips. That is an issue. Fast <laughs> <laughs> cars are gonna come around. There's a cracker there. Why do you want to close people? No. Yeah, and then no one. What I like is the gift shop. Because they've got like old fashioned candy and the necro wafers and things like that. We don't have sushi mori or no. mattress mori. BJ's. We have Costco, but not. You couldn't have BJ's in England. I mean, no one is. Oh, yeah, you couldn't have BJ's. Oh. <laughs> Why? What's the abbreviation for something else? Oh, Bojong, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely cute carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, I don't know about BJ's, it's close to big sporting right next to it. She's how convenient. <laughs> BJ right next to it. <laughs> you only have but of course, we don't talk food in America. We only do it with the British people. Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> or Walmart. We do have Dunkin' Donuts. Jesus, we don't. They just started having them again for the first time in 25 years and there's none really absolutely close. anywhere near us. So pay attention. What? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Never eat it. After 500 yards, you have reached your destination. It is on your right. So you want to pull over, right? You did this turn off lane? Go to the right yeah. turn. Oh, yes, we do. After half a mile, turn Whoops, around. See, you distracted me. <laughs> I would have said he's driving. I see a white bird over there. And what looks like a pink bird or pink buoy in the water. Yeah. Or <laughs> She would have like a piece of pie and a cup of tea. And she would have, by the time she'd get done, 
she had a tree heaped up with garbage <laughs> from heaven. Not even her lunch, just her little snack thing. <laughs> and they were, everybody made fun of her because it was covered with napkins and spoons and everything. Oh my. Here's a big question. How do I get over there? Outpost. Come on in. Well, there's a bunch of them over there. What do you think okay. of them, Alan? See him in there? They look pretty wild to me. They look pretty relaxed. Let's, let's move this beep, beep. 
Oh, be careful. Didn't I we warned you about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's Joe. He'll run over you. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could have known that up 14, that up 104 was coming. Yeah. Wow. That was that something. Was yes, sir. That's refueling probe. Uh, McCain was on the forest now when he caught on fire. I don't know if you remember the yeah. famous oh, yeah. fire. They call it the forest fire. The forest fire. Yeah, I'm up to the previous day. Are you? Well, anyway, McCain climbed out the refueling boom to get out of his aircraft, and his wingman, Terry, Oh, oh God. It's terrible. 161 sailors. graduate to you know the other naval aircraft like the, the Phantom or the A6, A7 which we've got in the hangar. Alright Alan, I have to ask you. Canberra. Canberra, there you go. British Canberra. This one is painted yellow and black because its last uh, mission before it came here was towing targets. Yeah. So they painted it yellow and black on the bottom side so that it didn't become the target. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> the U.S. took this aircraft. Uh, Martin Marietta uh, beefed up the wings, made the wings longer, uh, changed the cockpit. Uh, let's see, what else did they do, do to it? But it became the B-57. Oh, okay. So you're nearby. Yeah. You come back to the show. Yeah, you're lucky. <laughs> P-51, an F-4U Corsair, and we're going to have, I probably shouldn't take it, but we're going to have a twin Mustang, uh, which is very nice. Yeah. But he's coming. Twin two slides connected. They just, yeah, they just got it flying. Anyway, this is our B-52, and uh, the B-52, the first one rolled off the line in 1952. Uh, this one rolled off in 1957, as it says, and it was at various bases here in the U.S., and it was also... Uh, deployed overseas and it flew uh, missions over Vietnam and then it went to Chanute which is no longer an Air Force base and it was dropped from inventory as surplus they cut it cut this section off and they used it for fire training as it says here they used it for fire training to uh, to, to figure out how to extract crew if they were on the ground let's say it caught fire on the ground but we're still flying these things today with the same eight engine configuration. It's nothing quite like a B-50. No. Flying low after yep. taking off right over. Yeah, I've seen them, um, Milton Hall, when they used to have air shows at Milton Hall. I've seen big B-2 flight. Quite impressive. Did you see the one, the guy crashed, uh, getting ready for an air show? No. He got a little too aggressive and he tipped it up and I think he stalled it out. Ooh. I mean, he had it over and he stalled it out and it crashed. Anyway, we're still flying them today. Um, when it was developed, they wanted a you know heavy bomber, so they came up. They needed a lot of wing area, and uh, the technology at the time was not sufficient to to have like today. If they redid it, you'd have four engines on it. They've been talking about doing that, but they have. We're still operating the old uh, the wings because of the length of the wings. They have outriggers uh, when they're on the ground. And the wings flex 36 feet from you know the low to the high. Yeah, that, you, you can't see them when they take off. Like, oh, yeah. that's hard to picture. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like uh, today the uh, 787. You know, the wings flex substantially. Anyway, Boeing, by the way, is working on a plan to build fold-up wings on the, the passenger aircraft. You know, be like a Navy aircraft. Hmm. Anyway, let's go inside. Normally you'd run down the middle of the runway and that turn into crap, but no, not this thing. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Don't get out of your way. Gotcha guys. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Isn't that something, huh? Oh, that's awesome. Mm. I never thought I'd be sitting in the cockpit of a B-52. Some parts of these of uh, this tape, uh, at certain times you hear them talking about Sam's coming at them. Yep. Ooh. The one still flying, is still in service at the same flight deck, or has it all been um, significantly? I don't know if they've changed the instrumentation a whole lot. Uh, we're flying, I don't think, I don't think they're flying some Ds, but we're flying mostly uh, F and Gs now. Um, the, uh, I think it was, I can't remember if the, yeah, the E had a tail gun, it was remote controlled, and this one in the A through Ds, the tail gunner actually sat in the back of the aircraft. Uh, the E model had a remote control, and the F and Gs that were flying today, and the H model had a remote control. I'm sorry? How much runway length? Oh, I don't know. They're, it takes a lot of runway. I don't know how much. Um, they used to fly them out of Orlando International. Uh, that was the SAC base. And the runways there, I can tell you, are 12,000 feet long with 200 foot overruns on each end. Ooh. The problem with this aircraft, it can fly as fast as a Phantom, but it can't carry much in the way of ordnance. The Navy had this on the carrier, and they wanted something that was lighter, uh, easier to fly, and required less maintenance, and could carry more ordnance. So they traded off this for the A-7, which could carry three times the payload that the Crusaders could carry. But this aircraft flies subsonic, where that flies is twice as speed as them. This is just amazing. As you can see, they're all marked. This will suck you in. Wow. money to come in to help preserve the stuff. You can't well, always do it. And that's the thing. We're pretty much self-supporting. We don't have a lot of corporate sponsorship. Mm. Like uh, Melbourne has an air show two weeks from our air show, and they have corporate sponsorship. I want you to meet a hero. I want to walk on that side. He's going to fire the jet up. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm working on the Fuga. You're working on the Fuga? Right. I want you to meet these people. This is a hero. World War II veteran. He makes up stories. <laughs> I lie a lot, but he's worse. Joe Reese. Joe Reese. I love to meet Hi, I'm Jean. It's an honor to meet you. Hi, Joe. Joe flew B-25, B-24. B-24 is World 24. War II. Jimmy Stewart was the squadron commander. Wow, imagine that. Every time like, I sat down, he got promoted. <laughs> of course, of course. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Joe was shot down over Germany and taken prisoner, right? Uh, yes, and it was nothing at all like you imagined. Mm -hmm. I found a spot, a spot between barracks, and I built an ice rink. And you put snow thrown around, wet it for trees, and you put it in a bucket of water to keep it Oh, wow. And we moved to the
Where was you based? Hmm? Where was you based in, uh, in England? Was right on British my part. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. I, I, London. Okay. I uh, right north of Berlin, where it hits the Baltic, oh. that line. Where was you based in uh, England? Oh, flying out of Tippenham. Oh, where was that? Tippenham. Yeah, Tippenham. Where's that? Essex or? Uh, from where to where? I'm going to have to look that up now. Yeah. Is it because? Uh, you know where the wash is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Norfolk. Yeah, well, we were in the lower part of Norfolk. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. East Anglia, which is like that east corner of England, was pretty much a big aircraft carrier, really. Right. It was. We had to change the battery, otherwise he'd have started his engine there. Yeah. Uh -huh. We used to use that as a chase plane back in the B-47 days. If they had a landing gear problem, I could sit in the back seat and tell them what was wrong, because the pilot couldn't see anything. Is down, is it up? I've heard that before, the pilots couldn't see. <laughs> Good thing they had you. Also a navigator in a B-52, right? And there's a little plaque on there. That was my crew. I flew those for nine years. Oh, wow. Imagine <laughs> that. That's amazing. And you and your son own the half track, right? Oh, yeah. Do you know what the half track is? I've heard of it, but I'm not. There was yeah, in there. It was in there. Links in the back and wheels in front for steering. Yeah. Yeah. And you can go through mud and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> the tracks are actually... Uh, encased in plastic so they don't tear up the concrete or macadam. Yeah. It won't tear this up so much, uh, but you do tear your own tracks up. Yeah. It's right. like using sandpaper on them. Uh, where's the thing? <laughs> and it's, if you want to see it, he wants This door yeah. here goes straight back to the back door. It's right in front of the back door. Okay, yeah, we'll see it again. That's cool. Yeah, I found it recently. Somebody advertised and I bought it. <laughs> Good for you. Month, right? Maybe two uh, months? A couple months. A couple months, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, well, it's an cool. honor to meet you and talk with you. I think that's wonderful. Well, that was only my first war. I was a student at the University of Texas when the Korean War started. So I was back on a horse pretty quickly. It'd be 29 then. Wow, super and, force. Uh, I flew my most number of missions, uh, 38 missions over the north, but they didn't have any industry. The biggest thing I bombed was the fertilizer plant. <laughs> <laughs> I probably smelled that way anyhow before. <laughs> oh. And the last war was a B-52, and my plaque is on there for my crew. Yeah, we'll have to go I back and see it. Longest. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Jeez. And this is a really early airplane. Mm. And Jim Stewart also learned to fly these. Really? He died in 97. His uniform was at Duxford. He got one of his uniforms. Jimmy Stewart's is? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was a very regular guy. Yeah. Uh, we had a little bar in Sioux City where we were training in 43. And the uh, bartender, who was a friend, leaned over and said, Joe, you think Jim will ever come to my bar? So I'll ask him. So on Monday I asked him, he said, what day? <laughs> Wonderful. So on the next Friday, when most of our gang went down to drink beer, he sat in the back seat on the back table, and everybody came to visit. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Have you lived in Florida a long time? Hmm? Have you lived in Florida a long time? Off and on, yeah. Yeah. I have a ranch in Colorado, small. Oh, nice. Ah. Nice. Yeah, always been a miser. See, I'm a Yankee. I'm from Maine. Oh, what part of Maine? Portland, right on the well, coast. My, my dad's a fisherman. Uh, the B-52s, we started in uh, Upper Maine. Mm. Uh, mm. Loring Air Force Station. Yep. Right. Yep. Uh, Closest to us was the Brunswick Naval Air Station. I'm trying to think what, I flew them for nine years, so uh, I've been away from them for many, many years. Yeah. I retired in 65. Right. Wow. Now I work in this place. Good for you. I'm glad you do. <laughs> I'm a machinist. Yeah. I was a machinist apprentice when I was a young boy. <laughs> you can always hear him on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Break time! That's me. See, I announce when it's time to go eat. <laughs> so I have a break time over the din of the guys banging and hammering and everything. Yeah, they wouldn't hear otherwise. Yeah, that's always important. Well, see, breaks. as an aviation cadet, you had oh, about the end of that airplane, you had three officers, and you read the orders of the day. If he could read every word you said, you got a saber instead of carrying a rifle. Oh. And I didn't want to carry a rifle. <laughs> Didn't as much. You did well then. <laughs> I got a saber instead. And you're still talking today. And one of my most famous things, you know how you pass and review, 
Bessie reviewing stand. Yeah. And we salute with the saber like this, see. And I stuck in the ground about that far. <laughs> and I was so young, I waited until after dark to go out and get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> What are things you do as a kid? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's good though. It gives us memories. <laughs> uh, you said you live near Norwich. Um, we're <laughs> London. We're not. We're only. Oh, London. We're oh, only okay. hour, and, well, hour and a quarter from Norwich. Oh, yeah. Not far. Not far. Yeah, we used to uh, go over to England. We took the first B-52 into England. My crew. We went to uh, Africa, landed in the base there. We were there 15 days, and then we went to London. Uh, not London. But I think what base that is we went to. No, it's back in the uh, uh, time, hidden in the clouds of time. <laughs> I know. And there were so many bases, American bases oh, yeah, as well. Later. Many, yeah, we were many. The first one. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were feeling our way. Nearly all gone now. There's hardly any. Hardly it's, any I, of these. I was a radar navigator. I dropped the bombs, and if my pencil point had broken, we could have lost the war. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Well, nearly all those bases are gone, haven't they? They're just under back to farmland, most of them. What is it? I think he didn't have a man.
get a better view of them from over there. When they jump up the food anyway. It's awful slow to come on, isn't it? Why don't you use a hand away? Because I'm going to go like this. And then this. I'm going to hurt my hands. This is the same place for a while. I think you're seeing another one going that direction. Look at one over there. Wow, the one straight in, how huge it looks from here. From here. Yeah. Oh my goodness.
we can find another bird. Jimmy Cater. Somebody's gonna give. I'm hoping somebody's gonna give him some food. This is a swamp boardwalk at Gatorland, Kissimmee, Florida. We've seen raccoons and turtles, the tortoises. The tortoises are twiddles. Well, terrapins. Terrapins. In English. <laughs> There's lots of cypress knees. Temperatures in the 80s, a bit hot for us. But it's only early March and certainly not as hot as it was when we've been here in August. Let's walk on. See ripples, but you don't know if it's from an animal or gases or just from the boardwalk moving, do you? Warning this is a real live swamp. Do not leave the walkway and go stomping out into the water because stuff will get on you that might not come off. Especially, do not pick up any snakes since this swamp contains some venomous species like water moccasins. I'd love to see a snake, but I'll tell you, I wouldn't get very close to it. Do not pick this fern. It's called a leather fern, and it's the largest fern in Florida. The back of the leaf is like suede leather. It's pretty rare. In fact, biology, folks call it threatened, and state and federal governments protect it. I'll be done. So it's a leather thorn. And all these trees, Alan, of course, in the summer will be all leafed out. This is still early spring. Oh, an air plant. See it growing inside the tree? You can buy those in grocery stores, can't you? <laughs> Imagine that.
even though we're in a swamp and we're in Gator Land, it's, it's the closest I'm willing to get to a real swamp. I don't like to go off-road. A tupelo tree. Something rippling in the water there. Getting any bites? It's still okay. I haven't seen one mosquito. That's pretty good. I see a squirrel, which is exciting, but I'd rather see a snake or a Florida panther. We're going to be hungry when we leave here, aren't we? And tired. We'll catch it up to you, squirrel. Hi there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Look, there's more of the air plants. See them mm. over the tree? might have poison ivy. Oh, look at that. Look at that tiny bird. It's kind of, kind of little warbler. No, he, they move around too quick. He's right over there. Oh, he keeps hopping along. He's further and further. Oh, yeah. so, I think it's just a warbler of some kind. They don't stay in one place for long. He's gone, eh? At least we saw him. Look at these pretty things that almost look like marsh marigolds, the yellow flowers. No, he's long gone, Ella. Oh, he isn't. He's on the edge of a branch. We can't see him. He's, he's too far in the uh, free branches. To your right. I didn't mean move to your right. I mean, he's up. Look, the size of that airplane. If you come over here, come over here. He's over there to the right, but you can't really see him very well. Oh yeah, the air plants. Cottonmouth Cove, because of the huge concentration of water moccasins, also called cottonmouths, encountered when building the Swamp Walk in the mid-70s, the only venomous water snakes in North America. One of the largest ever seen, almost 75 inches, was caught when it attacked one of our Swamp Walk construction workers in 78. No, I wouldn't want to see that. That's for sure. Well, from a distance. Don't trip up here, the board comes up a bit. This is still recording even though the lights pitch has gone out. Okay. You can just touch the screen. Oh, yeah. Tells about cypress knees. And there's one right in front of the sign, see? Hundred year old cypress tree. As you can see, it's all boggy water down there, it's not solid ground.
watch me walk in my room. Talks about the different kinds of cypress trees on swamps and rivers. Some kind of snake swimming there, wouldn't it? Yep. I suppose it'd be neat to see you run away from it as well. <laughs> yeah, me too. But I suppose it's like seeing that little raccoon, you have to be pretty lucky to encounter anything. How would you see a snake? I mean, would they be on a log or sticking it up out of the water? Like coming across the pond? Hard to say, isn't it? Mm. Type ones, mm -hmm. they'll be like that. Mm -hmm. they'll go out. So be even more overgrown then. You see that? See, look, there come some of the pond plants we got. Mm. Down there, see them? Spanish moss, it's got sugars in it. Nope. Whoops. But you know what you could do? You could put it in the freezer till the bugs would kill, couldn't you? And then use it. Really? She's just gonna <laughs> knock it out of my hand? <laughs> <laughs> and then run. He'll be back. That wasn't very Come on. Oh, he'll find it. He's just saying, oh, I'm not so sure I want to kill it. No? Okay. That's adorable. <laughs> I was gonna hand it to you. 
It's in the mud right there. He's going to get it here in a second. It doesn't really help if you put this up. You can't see the screen. Too much glare. You can't see what you're looking at anymore. Oh, look at that. Must be a breeding thing, territorial thing, huh? That one's got feathers in his beak. That's that tree full of storks we can see from the other side. We're looking right into the sun, so you wouldn't get great pictures of them right now. See them? Unless you want a silhouette. Alan's gonna go on the zip cross thing. At least he said he would. A tree full of storks. Right into the sun. And hingas, I think. See with the wings, you gotta pitch him with his wings open, Alan? Right there? I just wish I could get his whole head in, but I just have to be able to, you know, spaces and cars. Mm. It's almost look like dragons, don't they? Compared to some of the other ones we've seen. Mm. Good close ups? Yeah. What you looking at, Alan? 
alligators. This is the juvenile pool. A lot more active than the adult pool. Again. I know we're gonna we'll drink some <laughs> Carry me out of here. Melody's had her first share. That's right. Oh, we should hide this. Then Tim just kept on going. Thank you. 
be. That's me. Alan's got a alright photo of me. Scenic Road, Scenic Drive, Orchid Island, near Wapasso Beach. Is it scenic so far? Nope. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the trees and jungle. After 250 yards, turn around when possible, then turn right. After 250 yards, turn around when possible. Yeah, there's a car. Do you want me to shut her off? Sorry? Do you want me to shut her off? There's a pause button. No. Pier. There is a sign up here about the mangroves. Do you want to see it?
Can you show us a fish? Snapper, snook, tarpon. Hi Alan, where are you? I can't remember. Robasso Beach. What are you looking at? Water. Oh, for God's sake. A beautiful beach day, 4th of March. Parking just inches of a few feet away from the beach. See people fishing in the surf? We're looking out at the open Atlantic. That's looking up to us, Copa Beach. This is just so beautiful. Okay. So, where are we going? Oh, 
got that on. Exploration Tower. Are we still in Cocoa Beach? I suppose so. Well, Port Canaveral. Port Canaveral. Look at this brilliant view that Port Canaveral area. You know, see what sign says? Yes, yeah, it says beware the alligators. It does? Oh, yeah, let's look. Beware of alligator. Please do not feed the wildlife. No fishing. I want to see an alligator. Because we want this to be fun. square feet cruise terminal funds enchantment Royal Caribbean oh look may we read that to you? oh it's gone let's try again oh no they're giving Gene a touch screen it's like a Wi-Fi oh look I know this is Florida territory was large enough that the British decided to split it into two colonies, East Florida, with its capital in St. Augustine, and West Florida, with its capital at Pensacola. The Apalachicola River marked their boundary. West Florida extended into present-day present Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Can you imagine? We are at the top of Port Canaveral Observation Tower. Is that what it's called? We're watching a cruise ship go out. We can see way over to Kennedy Space Center. This is really awesome. There's so many things to see. There's fishing boats, pelicans, cargo ships. It's really nice. That's a shrimp boat coming in there, Alan. Mm. Are you going to eat that? And it's great big hot pan. I don't even complain. It looks delicious. I think I'll be taking some of the back from Ellie too. I think I could ask for a plate. <laughs> you look lost. Oh, oh my, that's my <laughs> Did you guys want any parmesan or red pepper? Sure, parmesan. Do you want any pepper? No thanks. Here's your plate. Oh, no. That looks absolutely delicious. Doesn't it look good? The funny thing is, it's, it's wide angle and it looks as though you've got something in the world's biggest pizza. Seven foot wide pizza. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm picking the olives off pizza. Why? Because I thought maybe Melody and Tim wouldn't like it with olives on it. If I take the olives off, they might eat it. What's up? So you was complaining you was hungry. I was starving. And you bought a pizza. Yeah. And how much did you eat? Three small slices. And how much have you left? About well, ten slices. But I also had a salad. It's just a, I cut it out. It was good. What's it? What is over there? Vegan Tallman's Warehouse. I'm not even big, not at all. I thought you would. Oh, big belly. Here. Well, see, then it might fit. <laughs> Take a picture of the front of the building.
in, my darling.